Science fiction is an important subgenre of modern Japanese literature that has strongly influenced aspects of contemporary Japanese pop culture, including anime, manga, video games, tokusatsu, and cinema. History Origins Both Japan's history of technology and mythology play a role in the development of its science fiction. Some early Japanese literature, for example, contain elements of proto-science fiction. The early Japanese tale of Urashima Taro involves traveling forwards in time to a distant future, and was first described in the Nihongi 720. It was about a young fisherman named Urashima Taro who visits an undersea palace and stays there for three days. After returning home to his village, he finds himself 300 years in the future, where he is long forgotten, his house in ruins, and his family long dead. The 10th century Japanese narrative The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter may also be considered proto science fiction. The protagonist of the story, Kaguya Haim, is a princess from the moon who is sent to Earth for safety during a celestial war, and is found and raised by a bamboo cutter in Japan. She is later taken back to the moon by her real extraterrestrial family. A manuscript illustration depicts a round flying machine similar to a flying saucer. However, science fiction in the standard sense did not begin until the Meiji Restoration and the importation of Western ideas. The first science fiction of any influence to be translated into Japanese were the novels of Jules Verne. The translation of Around the World in 80 Days was published in 1878 to 1880, followed by his other works with immense popularity. The word Kagaku Shosetsu was coined as a translation of scientific novel. As early as 1886, Shunro Oshikawa is generally considered as the ancestor of Japanese science fiction. His debut work Kaitei Gunkan Undersea Warship, published in 1900, described submarines and predicted a coming Russo-Japanese war. During the period between the World Wars, Japanese science fiction was more influenced by American science fiction. A popular writer of the era was Juzuruno, sometimes called the father of Japanese science fiction. The literary standards of this era, and the previous, tended to be low. Prior to World War II, Japanese rarely if ever saw science fiction as worthwhile literature. Instead, it was considered a form of trivial literature for children. A character considered to be the first full-fledged superhero is the Japanese Kamishibai character Agon Bat, who debuted in 1930, eight years before Superman. Another similar Japanese Kamishibai superhero was Prince of Gamma, Ganma Wangzi who debuted in the early 1930s, also years before Superman. <laughs> After World War II. Manga artist Asamu Tezuka, who debuted in 1946, was a major influence on the later science fiction authors. Lost World 1948, Metropolis 1949, and Next World 1951 are known as Tezuka's early SF trilogy. Avant-garde author Kobo Abe wrote works that are within science fiction genre, and he later had close relationship with SF authors. His Inter Ice Age 4 (1958–1959) is considered the first Japanese full-length science fiction novel. The era of modern Japanese science fiction began with the influence of paperbacks that the U.S. Occupation Army brought to Japan after World War II. The first science fiction magazine in Japan, Cian Zingyun, was created in 1954, but was discontinued after only one issue. Several short-lived magazines followed Cian in the Japanese market, but none experienced great success. Science fiction in Japan gained popularity in the early 1960s. 
Both the Hayakawa's SF Magazine since 1959 and the science fiction coterie magazine Atujin, Yujoshain Cosmic Dust began publication in this decade. The first Japan SF convention was held in 1962. A Writers' Association, Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of Japan was formed in 1963 with 11 members. Notable authors like Saki Okamatsu, Yasutaka Suchoi, Taku Mayumura, Ryo Hanmura and Aritsune Toyota debuted at the Hayakawa SF Contest. Other notable authors, such as Shinichi Hoshi, Ru Mitsusha, Kazumasa Hirai, Aaron Kaya Damari and Yoshio Aramaki, were also published. Though influenced by the West, their work was distinctively Japanese. For example, Kazumasa Hirai, Aritsune Toyota and Takumi Shibano wrote novels as well as plots for SF anime and SF manga, which are some of the most prominent examples of Japanese contributions to the genre of science fiction. The contributions of excellent translators such as Tetsu Yano, Masahiro Noda, Hisashi Asakura and Norio Ito introduced English science fiction to readers in Japan, and greatly influenced public opinion of science fiction. SF Magazine's first editor, Masami Fukushima was also an excellent novelist and translator. In visual media genre, film studio Toho spawned the kaiju film genre in 1954 with Godzilla. Eiji Tsuburaya who directed the special effects for Toho's film formed his own studio and created Ultraman in 1966. Tezuka's manga Tetsuan Atom became the first Japanese TV animation series in 1963. Topic: Infiltration and diffusion. Public interest in science fiction had risen notably in Japan by Expo 70. Komatsu's Nihon Chinbotsu (aka Japan Sinks, 1973) was a bestseller. Uchu Senken Yamato (aka Space Battleship Yamato), a work of anime placed in a science fiction setting, was aired, and Star Wars was screened in Japan in the late 1970s. The change in the nature of the science fiction genre in Japan that resulted from these events is often called infiltration and diffusion. Jintu Takuosan Shinto Takakasan. At this time, Hanmura's Denki SF, SF literally, mythology-based SF, series and Hirai's Wolf Guy series became prototypes of later Japanese light novels through the works of Hideyuki Kikuchi, Baku Yumimakura, and Haruka Takachiho. In addition, new science fiction magazines such as Kizo Tengai, Kyuishi Angtianwai SF Adventure SF Adobenture, and SF Hoseki SF Baoshi were founded. A number of notable authors debuted in either SF Magazine or one of these new publications, Akira Hori, Junya Yokota, Koji Tanaka, Masaki Yamada, Musashi Kanbei, Azusa Noa, Chohei Kanbayashi, Koshu Tani, Mariko Ohara, Ko Hira, Hitoshi Kusakami, Matoko Arai, Baku Yumimakura, Yoshiki Tanaka and Hiro Shuga. In the 1980s, the audiovisual side of the Japanese science fiction genre continued to develop. Hayao Miyazaki's Keis no Tani no Naushika aka Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind and Mamoru Oshii's Aruse Yatsura 2, Beautiful Dreamer were first screened. On TV, real robot anime series, starting with Mobile Suit Gundam, were aired, and the science fiction artist group Studio NUE joined the staff of the Super Dimension Fortress Macross. Animators Hideaki Anno, Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, Takami Akai, and Shinji Higuchi, who had attracted attention by creating anime that had been exhibited at Daikon 3 and Daikon IV, established Studio Gainax. Topic: Wintery Age. 
Literary science fiction magazines started to disappear in the late 1980s when public attention increasingly switched to audiovisual media. The Hayakawa Science Fiction Contest was also discontinued, removing a major outlet for the work of many writers. A number of science fiction and space opera writers, including Hosuke Nojiri, Hiroshi Yamamoto, Ryuji Kasumine, and Yuichi Sasamoto, began writing light novel genre paperback science fiction and fantasy novels, which are primarily marketed to teenagers. This period, during which literary science fiction declined, has been labeled the wintry age in the mainstream of science fiction, Yoshiki Tanaka published Jinja Eiyu Densetsu, aka Legend of the Galactic Heroes series. The boundary between science fiction novels and light novels was blurred in the 1990s. Although Hiroyuki Morioka's Seikai no Monshou series is considered to be in the vein of the light novel, the series was published by Hayakawa Shobo as part of the mainstream science fiction world. On the other hand, light novel writers like Sasamoto and Nojiri have also published hard SF novels. As a continuation of infiltration and diffusion of science fiction into mainstream literature, Kenzaburo Oe, who later received Nobel Prize in Literature, wrote two science fiction novels in 1990–1991. Haruki Murakami received World Fantasy Award for Kafka on the Shore in 2006, and his 2009 novel 1Q84 was a bestseller. Meanwhile, in visual fields, the New Gamera series 1995, 1996, 1999, directed by Shusuke Kaneko with visual effects by Shinji Higuchi, renewed the kaiju genre film. An anime television series Neon Genesis Evangelion 1995-1996, directed by Hideaki Anno, got phenomenal popularity. Topic 2000s. The 2000s decade saw a recovery in the market for literary SF. Science fiction books had solid sales compared to the overall decline of publishing industry. SFWJ and Tokuma Shoten began Japan SF Budding Writer Award Contest in 1999, and Tokuma launched a quarterly magazine SF Japan in 2000 ceased in 2011. Hayakawa started a new label J Collection in 2002. Kadokawa Haruki Corporation conducted Komatsu Sakio Award Contest in 2000 ceased in 2009. A New Year's Best Anthology series, edited by Nozomi Omori and Sanzo Kasaka, started in 2008 by Tokyo Sogensha, and from it, the Sogen SF Short Story Prize Contest spun off in 2010. Among finalists for Komatsu Sakio Award and debuted from J Collection, Keikaku Ito left strong impression in his short career before died by cancer in 2009. Terenjo, Crossing Border into Mainstream Literature, was nominated to a Kutagawa Prize, and eventually won it in 2012. Yusuke Miyauchi, who was a jury's special citation of Sojen SF Short Story Prize in 2010, was nominated to Naroki Award and won Nihon SF Taisho in 2012 for his debut collection Dark Beyond the Weichi, Pornshang no Yi Banjo no Yoru. 65th World Science Fiction Convention was jointly held with the 46th Nihon SF Taikai in Yokohama, Japan, in 2007. Topic. See also. Mecha. Real robot. Super robot. Topic Artists Studio NUE Topic Awards Hayakawa Award 
Nihon SF Taisho Award Cian Award Topic Publishers Hayakawa Publishing Tokyo Sogensha Tokuma Shoten Kadokawa Shoten Topic Fandom Nihon SF Taikai, Japan SF Convention equals equals notes <laughs>